next to the woods in the trail. And it smelled like it was a, a mature buck. I could almost kind of smell like the tarsal. Um, but we'll see. We're going to hang tight and see if anything shows up. see how the arrow looks. All 
All right, so since you're clearly seeing me in the car right now and I haven't shown you a deer yet, um, it's pretty clear that I had to back out of there. And uh, just for all you uh, watching this, um, I, I'm sure that there are plenty of experienced hunters who know if the shot's questionable, um, it's always best to back out and go back in in a little while. Give it plenty of time because there's no sense in pushing a deer uh, so that you know you end up losing blood and um, it, it's just a whole mess if you try to push a deer before it expires. So um, I backed out. I'll be back in there probably in a couple hours and um, you know I'll, I'll catch back up with you guys then. All right, so. I'm just walking out right now, trying to go see if there's uh, any good sign. Hopefully I'll be able to find the deer pretty quickly. Got some blood. That's a start, at least. We'll take it from here, I guess. So, I came out here after losing blood last night. And unfortunately, um, I found the deer, but it looks like the coyotes found it before I could get here. So this is probably, you know, other than if I didn't actually find it, you know, this is the worst feeling to have, you know, a, a perfectly healthy deer go to waste, go to the coyotes. But this is all that's left of her in a couple hours. That's all they, uh, that's all they left. They really had their way with it and uh, it's crazy because I never get coyotes on cam out here maybe once every month or so and um, I, I just don't even know where they all came from and how they clean this thing off so quick within a couple hours but I mean this this sucks obviously the hunting season goes on but um, I don't know that's just too bad.